everyone. Um, Thanks for taking the time to chat, to attend this pre-construction meeting. Um, my name is Alice Fife, and I'm the planning and development assistant for Kitchissippi, and I help Jeff with um, all the planning files in the ward. And I'm joined here tonight by my colleague Steph, um, who I know some of you already know Steph well, um, and know that she is now helping Jeff with the citywide planning files that come with Jeff's role as chair planning committee this term. Uh, we also have the developer here, uh, Tommy Ladisseur of Carnark Developments. Tommy, maybe just wanna wave your hand, say hi. Hi there. Um, and Tim and David and, and another Alice. I'm so happy to see another Alice on the screen. I, I rarely see that, so that's nice to see. Um, but I'll just provide a little refresher of um, what is proposed for the property at 368 Tweedsmere. Um, for the site, we're looking at a 3.5 story low rise apartment building comprising 16 units, which received site plan approval this past May. Um, however, as some of you may know, um, due to recent notice that went out today, um, that during the recent building permit review process, staff noted that the parking requirements um, during the earlier reviews were misinterpreted. And so currently there are no um, vehicular parking spaces proposed, um, but two are required. And as a result, that is the subject of a minor variance application point of the Committee of Adjustment on December 15th. In terms of bicycle parking, uh, there's a total of 16 bicycle parking spaces proposed. In terms of tonight and the format of the meeting, uh, Tommy is going to offer a short presentation on the proposal and we'll cover things like anticipated start date, timeline information for each section, such as excavation and pouring, truck traffic route, construction staging, and any anticipated impacts to sidewalks and roadways. Uh, and he will also, I hope, provide some information on ongoing communication going forward. Um, Tommy will also indicate uh, who residents can call on site if there's an issue and whether construction updates to the neighbors will be provided and if so, how residents can sign up. Um, with that said, however, I would like to note that um, as far as I understand, the traffic management plan and encroachment permits have not been approved uh, by staff yet. So it is possible that plans outlined here tonight uh, could change somewhat upon staff re review. And if that is the case, um, I would ask Tommy and his team to make our office aware of any changes so that we can share them with you, the resident. So before we get started with the presentation, I'll just start us off with a couple of minor housekeeping uh, matters. Um, number one, after Tommy's presentation, we'll just jump into an open forum Q&A afterwards uh, where the residents can ask further questions. And number two, as you may have noted, uh, this presentation is being recorded and it will be posted on the Kitchissippi Ward YouTube channel uh, by the end of the week. And if you know anyone that couldn't make it tonight and would like to view it, they can view it there. And if you, or if you'd like to view it after, you can do so as well. And anyone interested can write our office for a link or you can search uh, Kitchissippi Board on YouTube and find it directly. And then number three, as we are a smaller group tonight, uh, we'll be taking verbal questions and we would ask that you use the raise hand function on Zoom to indicate that you would like to ask a question. And just to note as well, anyone who would prefer not to ask a question verbally may still ask a question uh, directly to myself and through the chat. And if you aren't comfortable being recorded on video, just please feel free to turn off the camera on the bottom left hand of your screen. So with that, I will hand things over to Tommy, uh, you and your presentation. Thank you. All right. Um, since we're not a big uh, developer, Alice, it's not going to be a big <laughs> spiel. We're just building a little, uh, a little development. Um, our plan is to start construction fairly quickly. Um, our demo permit has been approved. The construction permit has been approved today as well. Um, so our plan is uh, to start uh, demolition of the property probably before the end of this week. Uh, from there, um, as for road closures, uh, we've actually come to an agreement with the uh, uh, neighbor uh, next door who's also going to be developing. So we will not be closing off streets at all. 
Uh, we will be using the lot next door to do any unloading and whatnot. So the only time we'll be blocking off the street there will be only for unloading uh, transportation and that's it. Everything else will be done on neighboring property. So we're trying to not create any effects in the neighborhood as much as we can. Um, uh, other than that, uh, yeah, so we're going to be building a uh, well, three story, so plus a basement eventually, uh, two one to two bedroom apartments, uh, wood frame, uh, small little project. Uh, we're trying to, our completion date is, we're trying for the end of September. So we're trying to get it in and out of there as fast as we can. Um, so uh, in the next following weeks, uh, we should be able to pour our foundation. Uh, from there, the uh, week after that, we should be, it's a wood frame building. So we'll be framing that wood. It'll be coming in in the system. So it should be going up quite quickly. Uh, once it's enclosed, it's just interior construction. Um, we're planning on drywalling probably end of April, May, uh, and then everything else just to be installed from there. So we're, we're trying to come in and do it as quickly and seamless as possible. That's about it for me. Um, okay, I actually just have a couple of questions to get us started. Sure. Um, so which property, which neighboring property are you uh, planning to, to use for your staging? It would be for the uh, White Street Capital Development right next door on the left. I so believe it's the three... south? Yeah, it's the whole corner from Wellington down that they're developing. Okay. We're just going to be using that instead of, you know, trying to do road closures and whatnot, because we noticed that Tweedsmere is very, well, it's busy enough road and it's a small road, so we're trying not to block it. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, this is Patsy. Sorry, I have a problem with my camera. But you're saying you're going to use where they're building the building, but next door is a White House that hasn't been knocked down yet. So are they knocking that house down so you can use it or are you we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna need to to block to knock that down for us to use it. It's just for us to have enough room to move from our property to the other property without blocking off the road. So you're not going to where they're building the building, you're just going next door for that. Yeah, way. we're just gonna be using the excess land attached to ours so we can move around properly. Okay, and you said you were building a small small project, but this has sixteen units in a fifty by hundred foot lot, right? Yes, it does. So four units on every floor? Yes. And is there any space around the building at all? Are you just doing the three feet, three feet, three feet, and then filling the whole lot? Yeah, it's pretty much full. No parking? Well, that's what we're at the adjustments for right now. Okay, so how do you, how do you uh, sus suspect that that'll affect the tenants or the people who own the houses down the street? Who, well, our, our lawyers are working on that for right now. I don't have anything. I don't have any more answers on that one. You don't. It, it's not. Go, it's not going in front of community until the fifteenth. So I don't have an answer on that one yet. Um, Tommy, could if residents have questions, can they reach out to the consultants that are um, handling the committee of adjustment application? Um, well, right now, what we're planning on doing is I'll have a, our website. Uh, available on the property. So any questions from there, I'll be able to uh, reach directly through, through our website to me and they all go to media inquiry. So I'll make sure they're all answered. Okay. So after this meeting, can you, will you provide me with the website? And then I, if, if anyone wants. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Reach out to me. And everything through the website will be directly to, to uh, added to me, nobody else. So I'll, I'll be taking care of everything. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, uh, David, go ahead. You have a question? David, you're on mute. Classic mistake, sorry. Um, is, is there any um, blasting that's required uh, in the early stages to get down low enough? No, uh, we, we verified our rock bed. Everything's far enough down. We shouldn't be blasting or doing anything on the project at all. Tommy, do you know how long the excavation stage is going to take? Uh, excavation shouldn't take more than, uh, I'd say, about a week and a half. And that's full demolition, excavation, everything. During, during which there will be trucks fairly continuously taking materials away, I guess. Yes. They'll have, uh, and, they'll have to and be it, on the road. Yeah, no, but again, we're, we're planning on using the neighbor's yard. So they're going to back yeah. up into the yard and then be full, filled from there and be taken away from there. 
So we're, we're trying not to, to block the road at all. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. It might happen. So delivery quickly. Somebody might be dropping something off, but we're planning yeah. on having flag people there, but we're, we're trying, there's not going to be any road closures. No, no, uh, nothing like that. N none of that is our plan yeah. right now. Because of, as you have mentioned, it's a tight little corner in there. It, it um, is. It is. So you'd want to avoid getting in people's way. Yes. Kim, you have a question? Yeah, I'm just trying to um, understand this using the neighbor's property. So it's the Whispers, um, the old Whispers restaurant, right? And they well, have the, a... the, the, Yeah, there's the Whisper, then they also own the home right next yeah, to it. Yeah, I, I yeah. know that. So yeah. you, what you're going to try and do is use the, you know, the parking lot in the rear as kind of a lay down area, storage area. Um, no, I, actually, we're, we're not. We're not going to. We're not going to have a big lay down storage area. Everything's going to be delivered as we're going along because it's a wood construction building. So our floor systems, our trust, everything's just going to be delivered as we're moving along in stages. So we're just literally by at that point they're going to be brought into the side yard and forklifted onto our site, and that's it. Okay, and uh, okay, well, uh, that should be interesting. Okay. And Tommy, will you be the primary contact uh, yes, for will. people to reach out to? Yes, I will. And uh, I, I have your email address. And are you okay with me sharing it if people reach out for it? Yeah, my email address is is fine. Um, I'm also going to put a sign on our construction fan outside with our uh, with our our uh, web address and whatnot. Every every inquiry that comes through that address will be directed to me directly too. So if anybody wants to reach out to me directly, they'll be able to do that as well. Okay. Okay. Well, could I get another one in there, Alice? Sure. So, so it's it's always the and David kind of brought this up. It's always um, you know the truck parking on the street. You know, seven o'clock in the morning. There's three or four dump trucks on the street. That's always the issues that we hear about from people and um, and then they're always, you know, they're parked facing the wrong way. They're parked on the side of the street that's no parking. That's the kind of stuff we hear from, you know, the community all the time. So I just wanna be sure that we're not gonna have any of that. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna be getting a call from somebody on, uh, on Tweetsmere saying, oh yeah, I, I woke up this morning and there's four, uh, you know, dump trucks sitting on my street waiting to get into the site because they're doing the demolition today. Yeah, again, because it, it's a smaller job site again, um, our, our, our demolition guy is actually the same guy carting away. So he'll be ordering his truck at the same time from his own company. So the, I, I'm hoping we're not foreseeing anything like that happening on the street, he should be able to manage his stuff better than that. Otherwise, he's just paying his own employees to be sitting there longer. Okay. Okay. So, um, Alice, is, is, the, is the restriction on parking part of the um, encroachment agreement? Or like, you know, so if they need to change from, a, you know, a parking area, you know, where there's public parking to uh, no parking because of, uh, you know, construction, you know, how they have to go through the city to do that. Is yeah, that, an encroachment part. Yeah, uh, is that in part of, is that part of the encroachment agreement or or the traffic plan or how does that work? You know? Well, well, Tommy, you can probably, yeah. you can speak to this, but yes, if, if Tommy's group um, is going to need to close part of the road or some of the road at some point, yeah, they're going to need to get permission from the city. Yeah, th th those are encroachment permits and you, you got to apply for them individually every time you want to do it. But again, we're, we're not going to be using a crane. We're not doing any of that on the project. So I don't I don't foresee us having any need for that at all. So on the weekend, is there there's parking on your side of the street, right? Yes. <clears throat> so like, say, let's say on the weekend. People, you know, if they're going to shop in Westboro, uh, you know, the, those parking spots will be there for them to use. 
there won't be no parking signs put up. You know, no, I, no, like during, the, yeah, we week, won't be, you know, sorry, yes, you know, during the week you're going to be right there, but let's say on the weekend, they'll still be available for people uh, to use. Yeah, we're not planning on turning it off on weekends and we're not planning actually on working on weekends either. Okay. Uh, yes, David, go ahead. I noticed you said you're not planning to do that, but you might, I suspect, if you get behind. You've got a very tight schedule here too. Yes, no, I, I mean, I can't foresee what happens, but if we stay on schedule, no, if we not, we might get a few weekends in. But if we're doing weekend work, it'll be more labor intensive work more than anything else. It, will, it still won't include any road closures or anything like that. Well, that, that brings me to my next question, Tommy. Um, what your plans are for all the construction workers parking? Uh, the basic problem, because I, I live on Athlone, so uh, uh, we've just had Athlone done and we spend a lot of time looking at uh, various crews, trucks and stuff uh, filling the fl filling the road. Um, have you have you got somewhere for them to park uh, a short distance away so they're not in the way? Yeah, again, because you're, uh, you're trying to do it just in time, you'll have a lot of people on the site, really. Yeah, our, our site on average will probably only have about uh, four to five people on it at all times in general, um, and mm -hmm. we have an agreement with uh, Y Street Capital for next door where the restaurant is for them to park there. Okay, on on the uh, on the restaurant parking lot that was always yes. there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Tommy, how long do you think the the concrete pouring will take? Uh, forming will probably take for that site about four to five days. Pouring will probably just be one day. Uh, form removal will probably be about two to three. So you're yeah. sort of aiming to try and do that before Christmas, right? We are really trying to, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be pretty tight. <laughs> Um, and and are you planning to work uh, through the the Christmas holidays or no or are you no time off no I I believe our our last scheduled day would be the twenty third and not returning until the new year. Twenty okay. third, I think, a Saturday. You mean the twenty second? Well, twenty second. Would... <laughs> I'd have to open up my calendar too. Yeah, twenty second. I think you mean. <laughs> All right, so 22nd, yeah, and yeah, so. I'm, I'm just uh, looking out for your workers here. Yeah, you know, <laughs> 22nd, and uh, I believe we wouldn't be back until uh, the 3rd or the 4th, even. Yeah. Any, uh, if, any, any other questions? Uh, sorry. David, go ahead. Sorry. If in the unlikely... Um, event that the uh, committee of adjustment doesn't approve your your lack of parking what will that do to you uh it, it would uh, delete the basement apartments of our units okay so we, we we'd have to the game plan from there we're, we're not even sure yet so but it would delete the basement apartments okay because it's not going to be just with 16 it's not going to be just two spaces it's got, there would be a uh, visitor there'd be a partial visitors one too right required yeah i believe there's but a partial so visitors it's, so it's already three parking spaces no there, there's only two just one visitors uh, one parking space and then the rest of it is uh biking parking uh well um the requirement that i i well because i i'm right beside the identical building that they want to put in mm -hmm. on athlon over here um and once you go past 12 you need one spot for each two beyond 12 so that's two 12. there sorry yeah that to be honest david I, i'd have to look into it myself for that one i, would, I was just so told it, three, three, it, it comes out to three spots anyway uh, one a, one partial visitor spot which has you can't have a partial spot so it's a full spot okay um and 
and to to uh, regular parking. Um, so how will you respond to that if that were next week were to change you, you delay plans or? Yeah, well, we would delay plans, but definitely delay plans. But uh, our, our go ahead for that project would be to uh, delete the basement apartments. And we don't have a plan yet, but we delete the units in the basement to make it uh, acceptable. Okay. And and how does that work? You it, because you put you put parking underground or something? Or? Well, that that that's one of our options. Yes. So we we'd have. I, until the 15th yeah, in to terms of the, you were saying the parking uh sorry you delete the basement apartments but a lot of people don't get uh approval for basement apartments and this was in the paper quite a few times people yeah do, uh, two or three stories and the basement is not filled and then they go for a variance after the fact and they've already actually built the basement apartments if they don't get the approval at the at the beginning so if you don't get approval does that mean you uh don't go as deep in the the construction permit be issued be, uh, before the committee of adjustments been heard mm. is that i mean is that common practice it seems it seems a bit yeah I'm... i realized they've been through committee of adjustment before and because they didn't present it to us as a, a require there being any requirement for parking mm -hmm. it sort of sailed through the committee of adjustment before um so it, it it seems to me a bit a bit a bit difficult to assume the parking will be approved. So so I'm I'm surprised that a, that a, the construction permit would have been issued. would have been issued. Am I am I not understanding the process right? Yeah. No. So Tommy, what um do you? You don't have the permit in front of you, but on what basis, like, was the permit submitted? Uh, with minor variants. That, that's all. That's all I, I'm aware of at this point. Hmm. So, but everything I just got. That, that was my last call at four thirty with the lawyer. Everything was approved. Everything was ready for pickup. So that's all I know. Okay. Yeah. No. Just in my experience, which is it's much more limited than yours, obviously. Um, I would have thought if you would get the building permit for what you're proposing once the minor variance is approved. But if it's if it's a parking matter, I I I don't know how that works. Um, I realize you're not asking for variance with respect to setbacks or unit count or anything like that. That's been dealt with. But um, it, it, I think it would be helpful if if you could get back to. If you can get back to me and just yep. give us more information about the permit that's being issued, and and then I'm happy to to share that info. Yeah, all right. As soon as I have all that else, I'll, I'll make sure you get it, so you can share it with everybody. Okay. For clarity, uh, Tommy, the um, my recollection when it went through before was there is a there are other minor variances, particularly for the rear setback. So. Um, I'm, I'm just try, trying to warn against assuming the the the, uh, the construction permit is permitted on the basis of that variance because now they found that they they misrepresented the uh, the parking situation. So, so there are two two. There's more than one minor variance here. One of which is definitely has already been approved, and, yes. and one of which is to be approved. So yeah, to, to my knowledge, the setback was approved already. Or that was taken care of, and now we're just dealing with this last one. Yeah. Okay. You'll let us know anyway, Alice, if, uh, if what what's uh, going yeah, on there. Yeah, but if you could share information with me on on what's approved and what the process is, that that would be helpful. Yeah, no, not a problem. Okay. Thanks. Okay. 
have any other questions? No? Okay, last uh, call. No, I, I... I'll, I'll I'm sorry. just have 10, minute, 10 seconds of silence, just in case someone wants to jump in. Yeah. One last thought or question. Okay. Okay. So I, if there are no other questions, I think we'll wrap it up and, um, if anyone has further questions afterwards, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, my email address is alice.fife, F is in Frank, Y is in yellow, F is in Frank, E is in Edward at ottawa.ca. Or you can also just uh, email uh, the main inbox uh, for Jeff's office, which is jeff.leapier at ottawa.ca. And uh, I can also um, share Tommy's uh, website information with anyone that wants to reach out for that. So with that, I just want to say thank you, uh, Tommy, for, for speaking tonight and sharing the information with us and the residents. And of course, thank you to, to everyone that took the time to come out and attend tonight online. And like I said, if anyone has any other questions that pop up afterwards, please feel free to reach out to me or our office at jeff.leapier at ottawa.ca. And again, just a, another small reminder that the recording for this meeting will be um, put up in the coming days on the Kitchissippi Ward uh, YouTube channel. And if you have trouble finding the link or you know someone that is having trouble with that, uh, feel free to just to reach out to us. So with that, I will say good night and thank you everyone, um, including Tommy, thanks uh, for attending. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night.